Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Freelander. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Freelander 2 2.2 TD4 GS. Has command shift, it's four wheel drive, 2012 on a 12 plate. It has done 70,776 miles. MOT is till the 19th of the 7th, 2024. MOT, 19th of the 7th, 2024. Fuel economy, urban 32.7 miles per gallon, extra urban 49.6 miles per gallon, and combined is 40.4 miles per gallon. Has a top speed of 112 miles per hour out of a four cylinder, 148 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Black plastic stone protection at the bottom of the doors, six spoke alloy wheels, shod with Goodyear Wranglers all round, high pressure headlamp wash, reversing sensors, the upholstery is like brand new, Isofix rear chow seat anchor points, heavy duty rubber mats, Alpine speakers, and Bluetooth hands free. Great service history here. 26th of second, 2013 at 5,040 miles, Lloyd's Land Rover. 11th of the second, 2014 at 10,688 miles, Lloyd's Land Rover. 25th of second, 2015 at 15,671 miles, Lloyd's Land Rover. 25th of second, 2016 at 22,778 miles, Lloyd's Land Rover. 10th of the 3rd, 2017, at 30,778 miles, Lloyd's Land Rover. 1st of the 3rd, 2018, at 37,526 miles, Lloyd's Land Rover. 18th of the 3rd, 2019, at 46,012 miles, Cheeklaw Garage. 18th of the 3rd, 2020, 53,768 miles, Cheeklaw Garage, 8th of 2nd, 2021, at 56,443 miles, Cheeklaw Garage, 25th of 3rd, 2022, at 64,034 miles, Cheeklaw Garage, 20th of 4th, 2023, at 69,958 miles, Cheeklaw Garage. So, real comprehensive service history there. That's the key pop that in the little hole on the dashboard and then foot on the brake press the start button that's it we'll get the air conditioning on it's uh, quite warm today that's working perfectly nice and nice and icy you would have heard the locks there close as I set off so nobody can jump in at traffic lights or anything like that. Or in a car park, I suppose. So, power steering, which is pretty obvious these days. But we've got here, height and reach adjustable, multifunction steering wheel. Just do this before we set off. Power folding door mirrors. And just check they work. Click that to the right. Yep. That's perfect, left one. Yep, that's all working, so we're all good there. Turn that down once more. As you know, Land Rover product, best in the world, best 4x4 by far. There we go, how long did that last? Not five minutes. Not 12 months old. Anyway, <laughs> chill best. <laughs> okay, so, as I was saying, these are fantastic, great value for money now. They will do virtually anything you want, pretty economical, great driving position. Commanding view of the road, as much equipment as you actually need, 
I would say they um, proper switches we've got cruise control I'll just test the, the cruise control in a, a second we'll perhaps go we'll perhaps risk numbskull roundabout today because I know everybody secretly wants me to <laughs> endure that right so here we go we're on the dual carriageway it's only 30 here at the moment but if I click set one touch that's it it's set and then I can increase the speed we're into a 50 miles an hour zone so I can just keep clicking that till we get to 50 Oops, it's changed down now, I've clicked it too much. There we go, we're near enough 50. Cruise control's working fine. Touch the brake, knocks it off. If I click resume there, it's uh, not just a clever name, it will resume. Suspension's pretty good. Soaks up all the bumps, even on Preston's roads. This is just as it's come in, it's not being cleaned. You see the, the windscreen inside needs a bit of a, a clean. Lance will do that. But the rest of it, the interior and everything, it, it's, it's lovely. Good colour. And I, I just like, you know, I don't, I don't like the screens at all. Right, where were we? Can I really push me luck and go to numbskull roundabout? I don't know. Back to the car. Car. The, the seat cushions, it feels like brand new. Really nice and spongy. All nice. Dashboard's all lovely. We have, we'll just, uh, when we get further on, here we go. So you've got automatic here. You can knock that across change up like so, use it as a manual, or knock it back down like so. Oh, well, these, these lot must be on the way to Numbskull Roundabout. Must be a meeting. Yep, there you go, look. No idea, no idea where they're going. Oh, Swift. Oh. oh dear, indicating to turn left. In the right lane. can I say? Oh, wow. I've, I've completely lost my train of thought. I just don't, I'm, I'm that busy trying not to get run into. I don't know what to say. Fortunately, the good thing is that um, in a Land Rover, you do stand a fairly good chance of being okay. Especially these, it's got airbags in the A pillar, B pillar, C pillar, in the seats as well.
just nice. Uh, Renault Zoe. They're dropping £700 a month at the moment. So it's just costing 50 quid to overtake us. I'm going to pull out. Within 60 miles an hour, less than 2,000 revs, about 17. 18, no, about 1,600 revs. As I say, commanding road position, you're above everybody else. It's a proper design, nice looking car. Before they started going a bit rounder and a bit more like a fashion accessory, This was a. This is a Land Rover. It's square. It's boxy. That's how we make them. But boy, are they good. Your instrument panel. On the left, your rev counter. The centre top, coolant temperature, fuel gauge, bottom, middle information display and there it tells me the time the outside air temperature range before I need to fill up at the moment if I change that it's then telling me average fuel consumption which is showing 29.9 miles per gallon and I'd be I'd be happy with that I'm going to come off at numbskull roundabout nothing behind me average speed 28.9 miles per gallon oh, sorry average speed 28.9 right hand side your speedo and then your mileometer we go I, I I just this roundabout I just don't trust anybody on it left over as I said before whoever designed that road wants shooting nice comfortable car I'll try and remember to uh, test the high pressure headlamp wash when I get back but if you're on a car that you're going to keep for a good while, if you want a tow car, a car that you want to keep your family safe in, second vehicle, second vehicle for hobbies, going fishing, you, you can just get anywhere. Down here you've got terrain response, you've got your air conditioning here, dual zone climate, left and right, the fan in the centre. proper radio without stupid big screen Bluetooth hands free I'll show you how to pair your mobile to it when I get back to the garage and cup holders a big flask holder stroke cup holder down here your headlights are on the right hand side everything nice and easy with an easy reach Okay, 
and cute. The steering wheel still got all the kind of artificial leather, um, what would you say, not markings, but pattern on it, not worn off with some big farmer's rough hands. So I'm assuming this has been privately owned. Well looked after. The Alpine speakers, so great sound system. Can anybody tell me why that one, that camera, went off twice when it was over there, but now it's over here? It's been fine. It's uh, rather strange. But sadly, just enough to uh, cock up lining all these cameras up. I have to synchronise them all when I'm editing so that all the speech and everything aligns. But now I'm going to have to align that one up three times. And swap the views over. If only everything in life was as reliable as a good old Land Rover and diesel engine would be all right. It's just, driving is just so much easier when you can see over the top of the car in front and you know what's going on. You're above the spray when it's raining and when it is raining you can just go through it when there's any big puddles you can just go through it without worrying about it. Great car. Absolutely brilliant car. You know, a lot less to go wrong. It's got just manual seats. I, uh, John was giving me a lift somewhere and he's got an old Merc that he's had for 20 odd years. And the passenger seat doesn't work properly. So anyway, he told his grandson not to mess about with it. Of course, what happens when you tell your grandson not to mess about with something they do? So he put it forward, then it won't come back. I went to get in it, bashed my head on the, the rim because I didn't manage to get in okay. And then uh, cursed for about two days. So, Manual seats, oh, move, that's it. Leather, 
leather looks better, looks nicer. But to be fair, cloth's nicer to sit on. And these are, they, it's just lovely. So here we are back at the garage. <sighs> All these cars to, uh, what have we got here to video? We've got this Chrysler Estate. We've got the Audi Q7. Um, we've got, what have we got coming? We've got another Freelander coming. This Evoke to video. Lots to do. So many cars, so little time. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da.